Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, and I'm in a good mood today, because Champion's Path is out. It is the release date of Champion's Path, and I was supposed to be working today, but then it turned out I wasn't needed at work today, so now I'm at home. And by at home, I mean got up. And drove to my local game store and picked up an elite trainer box. And I need to give a shout out to my local game store here. It is the lovely Mad for Miniatures over in St. Austell in Cornwall. Lovely people. I've said many good things about them many times in the past. And frankly, I probably will do so again very many times in the future. Because they look after their local people. Also... I paid RRP for this. Now, you, you might have seen me in previous videos or on Twitter talking about how I am not impressed at some of the larger online game stores deliberately scalping this. As in being the people that have access to the distributors, getting it at a reduced price, but still charging some of them well over 50% more than RRP at this stage. Now, I, I would like to say just very, very quickly, some local game stores are selling above RRP, but a lot of the time they've got a good reason for that. Don't judge local game stores too harshly. Local game stores, they put on the tournaments. They keep the local community alive. They are awesome. And Mad Miniatures in St. Austell, they are awesome. They hooked me up with an Elite Trainer Box. They charged me, well, RRP. And I'm so delighted. I should have pre-ordered one earlier, except I'm glad I didn't, because frankly, I would rather have bought it from my local game store. Now, of course, this is selling out absolutely everywhere. It's a very sought-after product. It has a promo Charizard in, but also Champion's Path the set has a couple of Charizards in, and clearly we are Charizard hunting. That is what we're doing here. Now, there is a lovely little book here, which goes through, apparently, the new Pokemon Vs and V Maxes which is rather lovely, shows off the secret rare. I mean, they're not keeping it that secret, to be honest with you. There's a couple fun little combos that they are pointing out, apparently. I do like these books, to be fair. I should get all the Elite Trainer boxes just for the books. And then it's got a complete set list here, so you can go through every card in the set, including those two Charizard, which is clearly, clearly what we are looking for through this particular opening. So, first things first, let, is I, let us identify where this promo is. Right, okay. First things first, keep the promo in good condition. There is the promo. It is the full art Charizard. It is just Charizard V from Darkness of Blaze, but it is the full art version of it. And honestly, the centering on that looks pretty good. Maybe, no, I don't know. Centering looks pretty good. Cannot see any obvious marks on it. Always a always a worry here when you are trying to, you know, to, to just get it out of a box like this. There's always a worry it's gonna be packed. And I, I've seen some that I've seen some that didn't come out great. I have heard reports of some of these elite trainer boxes actually coming without Charizards, although I've heard a couple of reports unconfirmed, so take that as you will. Now, we also have the dice here. We've got one dice for flipping and then a bunch with numbers on to count damage, which is what you need when you play. We've got ourselves a lovely little rule book. I'll be honest, I don't need a rule book at this stage, but I'm sure there are newer players out there that do, so it's cool that they include it. We've got some cardboard, and these are cardboard dividers here, which can be used either in this box or in a deck box to sort your things out. We've got ourselves acrylic markers for burn and for poison. Again, I've got markers, but it's cool for newer players. A lovely code card, which will unlock the Charizard online. A whole bunch of energy. Just a bunch of basic energy. Again, I, I don't need the markers, and I don't need the energy, and I don't need the rule book. But isn't it cool it's in there for newer people? And then we've got the sleeves, which I imagine some people are going to want very much. So even in addition to the 10 packs here, right? I mean, the fact that you get this promo is redonk. But then you end up with the dice, the markers, the sleeves, the energy. I mean, most Champion's Path products are coming in at about £5 a booster. So the pin collections, which we're going to open later, are £16 free boosters, just over a fiver. The Double V and Surfetch V boxes are coming in at £21, four packs. Just over a fiver. And this is coming in at £52.50, 10 packs. So again, just over a fiver. 
So pack-wise, this isn't particularly any more expensive, really, than the other products. But you get all of the accoutrement, as you would. And of the, I won't probably say that again in a video. And the Charizard. Honestly, within a year or two, you can expect this Charizard to be worth more than I paid for the box. It is kind of ridiculous. So let's get some of the other little bits out of the way here. To make a little bit of room. Leave them down there. But get rid of all the rest of them. And we have got ourselves 10 packs of Champion's Path that we need to open. Obviously, any kind of Vs and Vmaxes would be good. That would, that would make us very happy. Waylord is in this set. I love me some Waylord, so that would be cool. But it's no secret that when it comes to this set, it, it is Charizards. That is absolutely what we're looking for. They are the money cards. So, no pressure, but if I could pull each of the Charizards in this box, that, that would be lovely. Don't tell my wife how much I spent on Champion's Path today. Arguably more than I should have. <laughs> Arguably. Okay, right. See if the trick still works. So, we got ourselves a lovely Rockruff. We got ourselves a lovely Purloin. A Nicket. A Sizzlipede. A Hatana. A Fighting Energy. Bit of the old hop. There is a Hatterem. A Sonya. Rev Hollow Great Ball. And a Grap Locked V. Nice. I mean, it, it, it's no Charizard, let's be clear, but it's a nice Pokemon V. I did put it on my top 10 cards of the set. I will, of course, link that in the description. So, you know what? I'll take that as a nice a nice first pack start. There are a bunch of trainers like Great Ball and Quick Ball, I believe, and all. There are some really nice reprinted trainers in this set. So, for newer players that have missed a couple of the Sun and Moon expansions, it's not a bad set. For hardcore players, it is not the most competitive set. I think is a very fair way to put it. But that's okay. Not every set needs to be. There's some very cool stuff in here. So, we got ourselves a Scraggy, another Purloin, a bit of the old Machop. I love the Machamp in this set. Machamp and Waylord V are my personal picks for favourite cards. There is a Machoke. Oh, please give me a Machamp. Come on. Give me the whole line in one pack. Couple of useful supporters. Red Hollow Hyper Potion and Center Scorch. Um, I like that it's a hollow. The hollow makes me happy. I I don't love the fact that it's the, the, the bad Center Scorch. I mean, to be fair, there's only really kind of one good Center Scorch. It's the one from Sword and Shield. Not counting the V and V Max. Obviously, the V and V Max are awesome. But, yeah, the Center Scorch... What this set was basically made in Japan with V decks. They had these V decks where you bought the deck and you got one brand new Pokemon V and then a bunch of kind of cards which, not entirely, but th th there was an element of filler to them. And then we got a few Vs and V Maxes like Gardevoir and Alchemy that were brought over that should have been in other sets. So that's why a lot of the non Vs and V Maxes in this set are kind of underwhelming because they were kind of. Filler for constructed Japanese decks. Ooh, Rev Hollow Energy. Now, I believe this Rev Hollow Energy is new. We've not actually had Rev Hollow Energy before. So that's nice. And, oh, Marnie. Okay. I mean, to be fair, Marnie's quite a nice card. We, we like Marnie. Marnie's a useful card. And we did get the Rev Hollow Energy. And I believe, I mean, they're, they're proper mirror hollows here. Kind of like the hollows you would get in Japan. I believe there is going to be a little bit of a market for the Rev Hollow Energy. I believe people are are getting quite excited about it. So that's quite nice. I mean, you'll notice there that is obviously a fairy energy. And obviously, you know, fairy Pokemon have gone away now. Like officially, there are no more fairy Pokemon. They don't exist anymore. But you never know, they might come back. I'll be really interested to know if basic fairy energy is legal. Because then when you're playing a colourless deck, the ball and move will be totally play with fairy energy. That would be awesome. So we got ourselves a Rev Hollow Rotom bike. Ah, oh, there's me Machamp. Nice. I mean, I do need a play set of Machamp. I mean, we can pick them up pretty easily. So, you know, not the most sought after card, but I do love that Machamp. I am convinced that Machamp Donphan, I am convinced I'm going to be able to make a good deck with that. So, go team. Now, I've seen a bunch of other people posting online with these. I've not seen many, to be fair. But I've seen a bunch of people posting online, and most of them have gotten kind of 
five V's and V maxes, or, you know, hits, so to speak, from the 10 packs of the Elite Trainer Box. We're currently stuck on one, and this is the last of the first half of packs. So, be nice if we can start pulling some more V's and V maxes. Oh, it's an Obstagoon! And I like the new Obstagoon. It's one of the few new non VGXs in the set, which are good. Although, again, this and the Machamp. That they came from other sets. They're not naturally... They didn't come from like the V-Dex over in Japan. So, if we have a little bit of a look at the first half of the box, we've done all right. But the first half of the box, we're just rocking a Grap Block V, which is not the, the best or the most valuable of the Pokemon V. So I'll be honest with you, I would like... I would like a couple more hits in the second half of the box. That would be nice. So let's have a gander. Let's start Let's start half number two. And to be fair, we, we've done it before, like where we've had kind of half a box and we pulled absolutely nothing. And then the second half of the box has been nuts. Should be borne in mind, if I pull one of the two Charizards, instant forgiveness. It will instantly become a, um, a very, very good box. The second you pull a Charizard, it becomes an amazing box. Be nice. There's Rotom Bike, Rare Follow Swap Blue, and Gardevoir V Max. Not the Rainbow Rare, just the regular. Still a very cool card. And look, I love Gardevoir, and I'm sure loads of other people like Gardevoir. So, now to be fair, we started the first half of the box with a Pokemon V. Not as good a one, but you know, we did start with one. So, it, it would be quite nice if we could, um, you know, carry on a bit like this. That would be lovely. Right, let's see what we've got from the next one. So a Carvana there, and a Swablu, and a Sizzlipede, and a Weedle, and a Galarian Zigzagoon. Obviously an Energy, Hyper Potion, Hatterem, Roton Phone. Oh, Rev Hollow Lightning Energy. I'll be honest, if all my Rev, if all my Rev Hollows could be Energy, I would be delighted. And Dreadnor V. Now again, we're not talking the um. The, the biggest or baddest or bestest Pokemon V, but we, I mean, to be fair, we're now up to three. I was I was hoping for five. That's what I've seen from other people. And to be fair, the two Rev Hollow energies are absolutely beautiful. So again, if, if we could have some more Rev Hollow energy, that, that would be kind of awesome. I would be quite delighted by that. Right, we've got three packs left. I do like these Elite Trainer boxes. I mean, especially the fancy ones like this. Ten packs is quite a lot to, to open and enjoy doing so. And then, you know, you get your promo as well. And, and you start feeling pretty good about all of this. Wouldn't mind a Waylord V as well. Waylord V and one of the two Charizards. I'm not greedy. Either Charizard will do. There's a Team Yell Grunt. Rev Hollow Center Scorch. And a Lycan Rock. Alrighty then. So, we have had three hits so far. We've had three Pokemon Vs. And we have opened eight packs. So, if we're going to keep to our five Pokemon Vs, which I've seen a bunch of other people get, we are going to need to hit one from the next two packs. We've currently had a Dreadnought. And we've had a... What do we have? We had a Dreadnought and a Graplot. And then a Gardevoir V Max. So... Let's see if we can keep this bad boy rolling. So there is a Trubbish, a Hatena, an Inke, a Weedle, a Galarian Lanoon, Rotom Phone, Lipard, Sharpedo, Rev Hollow Great Ball, and oh, we're falling short, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Scrafty. So this is not going to end up looking as good as a lot of the ETBs I've already seen online. I mean, to be fair, the fact that I went and found one at RRP was pretty sweet. If I'd have had to pay over the odds for this, maybe I wouldn't be terribly happy. But the Gardevoir VMAX, couple of Pokemon Vs, the Charizard. The thing is, because you're getting the promo Charizard, the chances of not plussing from these boxes is honestly quite low. Because you get the Charizard. So... Although, annoyingly, we've gotten so many random rares and we've yet to grab a an Altaria, which is very much the best of them. So, Rev Hollow Kabu and... Ooh, Venusaur V. Nice. Again, we're not talking the biggest, baddest, bestest Pokemon V in the set. We didn't grab ourselves a... Well, I really should say another Charizard, should I? But I think, all in all, although this is not the best box I've ever seen... Again, I picked it up for RRP, so you're talking about 50 English pounds. 
And we ain't doing terribly, ladies and gentlemen. You know, free Pokemon Vs plus the VMAX. Obviously, there's a hollow in every pack. I'm sure you noticed that. And then we got the two Rev Hollow Energies as well. So, you know what? I have very few regrets. Very few regrets. Massive shout out, obviously, to the lovely folks over at Mad for Miniatures for, well, for, for hooking us up, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen. Support your local game store. That is important. So that's our Elite Trainer Box opening. And look, we got the Charizard, right? So it, it's hard to be upset when you're starting with a, with a full art Charizard. For now, ladies and gentlemen, Champion's Path is out. I've done my top 10 and my kind of complete guide to the set. There is going to be another opening, probably coming a bit later with the pin badges. I'm kind of hyped on this set. I hope you're with me along for the ride. But for now, ah, usual deal. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me if you picked up one of these boxes, how you did, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye!